Okay. Very quick tutorial on how to make easy mean magic with GIMP. We open a picture, like this picture here, which is the picture you took of the opossum in the garbage can, but which I have already modified with an embroidery filter on the background. And very quickly, we're going to come to the toolbox, pick the square select tool, select this square or this roughly square area, and control A, select all, and create from clipboard a new file. No. Okay, let's try that over. Let's try that over. Edit. Copy. File. Create. From clipboard. Yes. We've created that from this. Now, to reduce clutter, we close this. This will be our image. Now, I have also have a picture of Weave here. And I want to put the picture of Weave under a hole that I cut out where this bottle is. So I'm going to cut out the irregular shape of the bottle using the lasso tool. I join it, and now I hit cut. It's necessary the image have an alpha layer, and if it doesn't have a transparent background, if, in other words, if it shows white instead of checkerboard when you cut, then this won't work. You have to do layer transparency add alpha channel. So you can see what will happen if I remove the alpha channel. That's what would happen if you cut out with the lasso if there was no alpha channel. But if there's an alpha channel, then you see the, the back of GIMP. Okay. So... You do that. I have this picture of Weave here. I'm going to select it. I am now going to add a layer to this image. You see that there's one layer. It's called Pasted Layer. I'm going to add a new layer filled with white doesn't matter what it's full of. Okay. And it obscures our image, but we're going to drag it and move it to the bottom. So now we see, that now there are two layers. And the bottom one is showing through with white. And now I'm going to lock the top layer just to be careful so that I can't modify it. So I'm working on this white layer down here at the bottom, and I turn this off. So now I'm going to paste the picture of Weave, and you see if I turn the eye back on, Weave is looking through the hole, right? And we can leave both layers visible but we see that it's the wrong size, so I use the keyboard command, Shift-T. I link the width and height and the scale so that it scales without making his face fatter or thinner. And then I 
eyeball it. I think that'll be about the right size. Let's look. Come down. Get the select move tool. That looks a little too big. So again, surely that's going to be good. Nope, that's a little too small. Okay, that looks about the right size. Let me rotate it so that it fits in the picture more. That looks very good. It just it's a little too small. So I'll just drag it out again. And move it again. Oh, just a little just a little bigger. Scale. Right. Fine. Good. Um, I like that. And so Anchor layer, move to this layer, and merge down. Now, I will think of a clever meme caption and use the text tool. Make the text much bigger, 64, say, and uh, uh, I will say, We've spotted with opossum. Okay. We've spotted with opossum. All right. And now you see that that automatically ended up another layer which again, I have to anchor, which I do with the keyboard command. Mm, merge down. We have spotted with the O bracket possum. Okay, that's good. Now, I don't save because saving saves it as a, this special GIMP file that contains inform it's an XML file which contains images and information about the history of the project. What you want is export as or export. So I'll call it Vivo. Awesome uh, PNG export, and that's it.